Hi, here we are again, the Sudoku guy with lesson six. Today, we're going to learn a few more techniques and procedures, and one of them is called the rule of exclusion, and I'll explain that. Another one is how we can always try and limit the two little numbers to go in only two cells within a block. So, with that in mind, let's get started. First of all, we'll do the cross horizontal blocks. There's no ones in this one. Well, I never. Two. There's two twos. Okay. So, if we've got a two there and a two there, we've got three twos, haven't we? Three twos. Whoops. Okay, four. Well, we've got a four that is going to be here. Oh, dear, oh dear, I've got the blue instead of the black. We have a four that's going to be there, or a four that's going to be there, and there's no four in the middle because of that four there. Now this is called the rule of exclusion, because what it says is that you cannot have any other fours along this row. I'll explain it again with another situation in a minute. Fives. Here's a very interesting situation. Have a look here. You see the two, six, eight? Well, that's going to affect things. With this 5, we could go 5, 5, 5, but we can't because there's no room for it there. So we have to have the 5s in the middle here somewhere. And if we have them in the middle, well, therefore the 5s are going to be up there. Bottom, middle, top. However, there's a 5 here, so we can put two little 5s in here. And we can put a 5 here and a 5 here, and that's because we've got a 5 down here that cancels that cell. And here we had a 5 that cancelled that cell. Now we have a top, a middle, and a bottom, and only use two little numbers in each of the cells. Some of my beginners wanted to put a 5 there, because there's no 5 down in here. No, this means that only one of, the, one of those is going to be the 5. Moving right along, 6, there's only one 6. 7, there's no 7s. 8, there's two 8s. There's an 8 here, and there's an 8 here. 9, there's only one 9. Let's go to these three blocks now. We have got all the 1s, top, middle, bottom. 2, and there's only one 2, and there's too many, that was a pun, too many places for it to go, leave it. 3, 3, there's only one 3. Four, there's no fours. Fives, there's two fives. Five here, a five here. So the five has to come down here. Now look down here, we can have a five there or there, but this five cancels out that five. So now we have a big five. Sixes, there's one six. That's it. Sevens, no sevens at all. Eights, yes, we have a top, a bottom, so the eights have to go in here. There's an eight already down in here, so we put the eight there. Nines, there's only one nine, forget it. Oh yes, there's two nines, sorry, there's a nine here, a nine here. Therefore, these, there will be a nine there and a nine there. Now, let's go to these three blocks. Where are ones? We have only one one. No twos. Threes, we have a three, middle, top. Has to be on the bottom, it can be there or there. But there's a three there, so this becomes the three. Okay. Now, fours. We've got two fours. Middle, bottom. It has to be on the top here. Because of that four cancelling this one out, you can have a four there and a four there. Fives. Interestingly enough, we're coming now to a similar situation that we had up here, because here we've got three numbers in a line. You, would be able, you could say that a five could go there, there, and there, but we can't. There's no room for it. So we know for a fact that the 5 can't be there, 5 can't be there because of this 5, we, do have, we will have two 5s there. Now because we know that, there's a top, a middle, the 5 has to be on here somewhere in this block, and if you look up here, that 5 cancels that cell out, that 5 cancels this cell out, so we do have a real 5. Fantastic. Now you may say, oh, what if I missed that? It's not a problem, because I'm showing you so many procedures and so many techniques that later on you would have been able to solve that five another way. Okay, sixes, only one six. Sevens, sevens are all there, middle, bottom, top. Eights, there's only one eight, and there's no nines. Now we start going down here. And I want to mention something here that's very important. And it's something that's easy for me and probably for you too, to miss out. 
whenever you get a new number, always look for the ramifications, either vertically or horizontally using TMB and LCR. Always. And it's quite often you'll see it happen with me. I may miss one, miss it. But later on, with other techniques and procedures, we'll, we'll solve it as well. So here we go. A one, a one, and a one. So this is a one, five, and that's a one, four. Twos. Here we want to teach you something new again. Here, if we look this at this very carefully, this two cancels out this cell, but there's two cells left in that block where a two can go. Only two cells left means we can put a little two in there because the two can only go in those two cells. Pushing right along, threes. There's a three at the bottom, three here. There has to be a three up in here or here. But guess what? That three cancels this cell out, so this has to become the three. Now, what is the ramification of that? Look, here's a top, there's a bottom, this is a middle. What's the ramification of that? Is there anything? Yes, there is. Look down here, we have a right, we have a left, we have a center here and here, but if this three cancels this cell out, this becomes a three and that becomes a nine. Okay, now it's pushing right along now. We were up to three doing verticals. We're gonna do fours now. Here's an interesting situation. I've only got one four, but if I take this four and go up the column, I can't put a four there or there. Therefore, the only place I can put a four is there. So we put the four in, which means now, this is, happens a lot when you do it this way, that that becomes your two. Now, let's well look at the ramifications of all that. This four, that four, middle, or oh, sorry, center, right, four has to be over here. Now, we can't put a four there. There's no four there. That four cancels that one out. So this becomes a four, and because of that, there's no, can't have a one anymore. The only one could only go there or there, so that's the only place a one can go. Because we did that, that is the only place a five left can go. So look at all that ramifications that we had just because of that move. Now, just for interest sake, if I have a two here on the left, a two in the center, this could be a two, and that can be a two. Okay, now on this column here, we've only got one cell left. Let's look, work, work out what is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. Okay. Now we're up to four, I believe. You know, we could also fill in this too. What would be the number there? Six, I think. Yeah, six there and a six there. We underline it because they're a matching pair. We can rub this little four out because we've already got the four. Okay, now, this block has only got one number left. So let's put it in and see what the ramifications are. Here's a seven, left, center, this will be your right. What would be the ramifications that are of that, I wonder? Well, we'll find out. Well, we've got a block here with only one left in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. What are the ramifications of that? Well, let's have a look. We've got a bottom. We've got a middle. Here it goes in as the top. Here is because we've got a nine there, and we've got a nine there, a left, a right. A nine has to be down in here. It could be here or here. Good. Ramifications. Very important. Any other ramifications that I may have missed? Fine, I think I've got them all. Look, we've almost finished these three blocks. Now we're ready to do the verticals here. There's only one, one, two. There's only one, two, three. Well, this is interesting. We have a left, we have a right. In this block, we'll need uh, some threes. Let me see now. I think it's got to go there. That's correct. Fair enough. Because there's a three that cancels that one, and the three cancels out this one. Now, fours. Well, we could have fours. We've got a right, a left, and a center, so this is a four. And uh, now this row has only got one left. What is left? 
I think it's uh, six. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. If we can put the six in. Okay. Um, now, we were up to three in the vertical blocks here. Let's go to four. Well, we did the four, didn't we? Okay, now let's go to fives. Well, we've got fives here and fives here, but don't really have enough information there. Sixes, there's no sixes. Sevens, well, this is interesting. Watch this, folks. Here's a seven. The seven, like the four over here, no room for it in here because of that column. But in this block, if we've no room for it in those two cells, it has to be there. Now let's look at the ramifications of that. This seven means that come across here, there's a seven here, so this becomes a seven. And because of that seven, we go across here, and we look, it could be seven, seven there, but down here there's a seven, so that becomes a seven. And now let's look at this. We have a left, we have a right, we have something in the middle here, that can become a seven. Now we have a block that's only got one left in it. What's the number that's left? One, two, three, four. Wow, we're going like crazy here. Okay, so that's what a seven did. Just that, all the ramifications of that seven. Eights. We're not sure about these two eights, but we know that there's going to be eights there. Um, so and then the eight could go all over the place here, so just don't worry about it. Too much information. Too, uh, too many cells that it can go into. Nines. Here's a nine. There's a nine. There should be a nine in down in here. And guess what? Here's the nine. That five is no longer a nine. That five cannot be... Sorry, I'll start again. That five... This, this nine has to go... Where are we? Nine, nine, nine. It can't go there because of this nine, so it goes, it goes there. Good. Okay. Now, what about another nine? Yes, we can continue on. We can look at the ramifications. Middle, top, bottom. Okay, it can't go on this cell because of that nine. So that gives us this, this nine here, and we're in business. Fantastic. That means that this nine is cancelled. Okay, now, we're now ready to go and do this block. But before I do this block, I've noticed that we've got a row here and a row here without numbers. And this is interesting. What are the numbers missing in here? Can we work out on this one? It is a one. It's a two. A two in there. And a six. Two and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, two and a six. Now that has ramifications straight away. When I put a two six in here, look what happens here. You've got a two there. So that means that this becomes a six. And this becomes a 2. Now because of that 6, that should help us down the road. It really should. We'll see. 6, 6, 6. Yes, we've checked it out. Top, middle, bottom. That's all working. Top, middle, and okay. Good. Anything else with only one left in it? Yes, there is. Have a look at the top line here. What is missing there? One, two, three, four, five. It's a six again. We put the six in there. Is there any ramifications of that? Well, we know that that's right because we have a right, a left, and a center. We can check ourselves. In this block, we have one missing. One missing. That was a pun. Yes, it's the number one. Okay. Now, what's the ramification of that? We know that one has to be in here. There's a one down in here. So that means that this has to be the 5. Therefore, this has to be the 1. Okay? So we're getting closer. Now when we look at this block here, what's left? There's an a two eights left. There's another number that's left. Well, it's a 6 because we have a top, bottom, middle. So it's a 6-8, six, 6-8 eight, six, eight matching pair. What's the ramification of that, I wonder? Well, have a look down here. Here's a 6. That means that this gets changed to an 8, and this gets changed to a 6. Now we can just check that out by going, doing a test, middle, bottom, top. Take the 8, middle, bottom, top. Yeah. And now this column has only got one number left, and I believe it's going to be 5 because it's sitting there. Okay, one, two, three, it's the only other number it can be, so that's going to be the five, 
and therefore this is going to be some other number. Okay? And that fits here because top, middle, bottom. Okay. Now let's look to see if there's anything else with only one left. Yes, there's quite a few here. On this column, we only have one number left. The number left is a one. I think it's a one. Yes, it is. Left, right, center. Okay, what's the ramification of that? Well, here we have a one, middle, top. This one will have to be on the bottom. Okay, good. Now, what about um, this column? What's missing there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight. And we can double check it by right, left, center. That's correct. Now, because I put that eight in, what are the ramifications of that? Have a look here. We have an eight here, we have an eight here. Bottom and a top. Therefore, the eight has to be here or here. But it can't be there because there's an 8 there, so it goes there. Okay. Now on the bottom row, oh no, let's admit, have we got any other rows with just one left? Don't think so. Yes, we do. See along here? We have a 1, 2, yes, a 2 is missing. We put the 2 in there, double check it, 2, 2, 2, correct. Um, and now there's only one missing in there. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. It's a six that's missing. Now that's really interesting because it has ramifications. Watch here, folks. That six is the middle, top, bottom. Therefore, this is becoming a six. And this is a six. And this, therefore, becomes a two. Now what are the ramifications of that? We have a top, a middle, and a bottom. So that becomes a two. And we've completed that. Now we've only got, well, I never, we've only got one row left or one column. And you can take your pick which one is missing. And it looks to me with that little four, it could be a four. Let's check it. One, two, three, four. It's a four. So we have completed the puzzle. And well done, folks. We did it. And what did we use? We used uh, the principle of exclusion. We used the principle of not worrying if you miss something. Something will come up later on. And also we looked at the value of just putting two little numbers in a block or a line, because two, particularly a block rather, in this case, because it enabled us to solve other numbers down the road. Now, so far, they're still very easy puzzles. Don't worry, they get harder. So that's it for the day. Namaste. Bye for now.